First, one man's in custody, another in the hospital after that early morning stabbing at SFO. NBC Barry's Bob Riddell joins us live from Terminal 3. Bob, this is, you know, the second attack at the airport within about the last month. Uh, correct. This is on top of the bomb threat last Friday and another knife attack last month. This one happened here. We're at right now. Terminal 3, baggage claim 4. Uh, just before 5 o'clock uh, this morning, a man stabbed another man here. You can see where the airport has steam cleaned uh, the blood stains from the carpet. Uh, a Starbucks employee, you can see Starbucks is right there. Uh, employee witnessed the attack, tells us off camera she saw a homeless man acting erratically, running around is the way she described him. Uh, when someone else who works here at the airport came out of the bathroom and that person who works here was stabbed several times by the man, that employee was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. SFPD, they did respond. They found the suspect, took him into custody. He is under arrest. They do not know what motivate him to do this. Uh, you'll recall this past Friday night, SFO evacuated the international terminal due to a bomb threat. Police found a potentially incendiary device and they took one person into custody. Last month, a man was arrested after he attacked several passengers here at SFO with a knife. Three men were treated for minor cuts and scrapes. We asked SFPD this morning if they have plans to increase patrols after these recent incidents. We immediately start looking into uh, round the clock patrols, but we also, with that, we also have to be very sensitive to areas where we may be uh, taking officers from. So we have to be, um, we have to look at the whole entire landscape, but know that we are, we have responded here, we'll continue to respond here, and we have eyes, um, it, many eyes all around the San Francisco airport to make this place safe. And you'll recall this past January, SFPD shot and killed a man outside the BART station here at SFO, who they believed at the time was armed with a firearm. Turns out it was an airsoft toy gun uh, during negotiations with police. Hour, however, the man allegedly told officers to shoot him. Back out here live, this is one of the surveillance cameras uh, that is right here where the stabbing took place. SFPD tells us this morning that they will be reviewing the surveillance footage to find out what led up to this. No one else was hurt uh, during the stabbing this morning outside the one man again taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries and this did not impact flights coming and going uh, out of SFO. And as you can see, the terminal is uh, back open down here at the baggage claim four and five, back open for business. People are, are coming about waiting for their bags. Reporting live here at SFO, Bob Riddell, NBC Barrier News.